Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2. In the last video, we began to explore the Wellness Center, and then things kind of kicked off with Cynthia a little bit. Tor descended into the pond and all this lovely stuff. Now, we've come back to the Wellness Center because... I can't remember why, because I was trying to get around to the garden, which I don't think I need to be here for. But as it happens, there is, as we can see, a hunting rifle over there so i think we can actually maybe go around here for the first time and that's going to hopefully help us figure out how to get into that locked door which i couldn't figure out last time uh, we're going to clear out the inventory a little bit because and now oh. <laughs> we might have to start dropping some stuff folks i'm gonna oh the game's making me put the work in to do this i just i don't need twenty-five thousand flares you know i just, i probably don't need I can't I can't discard coffee mug charms, interesting. Rocket flare? Nice. Like even the med kits, I'm like, well, do I need this many med kits? Probably not. Maybe I should just be more judicious with my usage of things. That's probably the key. I'm gonna I don't really use the propane tank tanks. I just have no space left at all. <laughs> I've got no room, and inevitably this gun is gonna take up, I suspect, four slots. So what I'm probably going to do is put the crossbow away in the short term. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm just going to start using more medkits and stuff like that, basically. I actually don't have any pills on us, so we can do that. They, they really need, like, an auto sort option, I would suggest. Okay, but anyways, we've got a little bit more room there. And obviously what we can do, hopefully, long term is clear that, yeah, add a little bit more to our inventory as well. However, let's uh, head down here, I suppose. So we're going to go what, past reception, I think. So we're going to go forward and left. And we're not scared. We're cool and sexy. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Oh, it's just straight up open. Okay. Oh, this is, this is nice. Okay, so we're in reception. Where they keep the bullets. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you know. Oh, hey, there's the knob we needed. I can't, I can't remember what the knob was for. Was it for that room with the with the rifle? It must have been, right? Otherwise, why would I be here? All right, sweet. Anything in the staff lounge? No staff. Set my own. Uh, now we've got a little drawer here, though. More bullets. See, that's just the staff are locked and loaded. You never know. And given the situation, <laughs> probably for the best. Right. Here we go. Very cool. I have a mind script page, which is nice. Uh, what's that on the what's that on, what's going on on the counter? That is that a dog? I think it's a dog. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Coscula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Okay, well, I no longer believe that Ilmo is just... <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, whoops. Dale Barrows stared at his chest x-ray. It was in his left lung. It felt like a black hole. An opening to darkness. He felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard, his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled, upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It tore him up, but it felt good. Gail was dying. 
the black hole was sucking everything good out of him. He imagined looking through it, into the darkness. The black hole grinned. Gale couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gale sacrificed to it. In blood. Anywho. Oh, hello, buddy. Um... Hi there, little friend. Gale gives into the darkness. This book would be unbearable. I know it's got this staccato writing style because it kind of makes sense for what we're doing here and what we're... It, just, it kind of just fits the, the vibe. Well, this book would be unbearable to read. It really would be. You'd be stopping and starting every four seconds. Where's this rifle? <laughs> oh, it's there. Okay, very cool. Oh, I need to go grab the... Uh, the, um... Bullets. I've left my rifle bullets in the shoebox. The mystical, magical shoebox. Which, of course, is where the clicker was stored in the last game as well. Mystical, magical shoebox! Uh, rifle, lovely jubbly. Okay, so I'm down to three slots. Although, one of those is a uh, sort of a spare battery that won't last very long. I just need to start using stuff a little bit more. I think. Also forgotten how. Okay. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Ten bullets for that. I think it's gonna be more useful in I the, the crossbow definitely has its uses. But the problem with the crossbow is that it's just it's slow. More than anything else, you know, it's slow. Anywho, we need to go back to the house. I think. I'm pretty sure there's a way out of the house on the ground level that's going to get me back to where I'm trying to get back to the basement, right? We've got the fuse. We need to go put it in that fuse box. I've, I've kind of done things in the wrong order. Uh, shouldn't have gone down to the basement until the game told me to, but whatever. Oh, it's this way. <laughs> I figured this out much easier this time. I hear spooks. I don't see spooks. But I hear them. Oh, now I see spooks. Alright, 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 that's all. That's all Decent, I would say. Uh, you also, yeah, okay. So I believe the ba Where is the basement? <laughs> it's, it's just right in front of me, right? I think so. Isn't it here? There we go. I just want to kill Cynthia <laughs> or rid her of the shadows. No. Cynthia, we've already done this. Get the power back on. <laughs> you can't do that to me again. <laughs> isn't this um, isn't this the 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 playhouse guy? Look, she's already done that exact jump scare. <laughs> she's not allowed to do it twice. Um, so I've got the fuse. I don't actually know where the fuse. Oh, this has died. Right, this was a safe room last time. That's why I was confused. I saw this, I thought, oh, that's where you put a there. fuse. But it was fine. Power's back on. Okay, cool. So we can go back upstairs. Shut up, Cynthia. Careful, Saga. I was prepared for that one mentally. <laughs> it still got me a little bit, but I was prepared. I've gone around in circles. I don't know why I'm... I'm, I'm Playing so much horror lately. I've been doing it on the Best of Slot channel as well. <laughs> okay, okay, this is like the first. This might be the first horror game we've ever played on this channel. But that's enough. <laughs> Yo, that's plenty. Um, my sense of direction sucks. This way. Wait, what's this? This ain't it. This is the Wellness Center. 
That's where we came out last time. That's why I was confused trying to find this place again because we didn't get here from the um, from the manor. We got there from the wellness center. That's the gate that was locked behind last time. That's confused by. Like, I just need to retrace my steps. <laughs> and even that's like, well, not sure how I would do that. Oh, here we go. This is a, a fairly natural result of the. Shut up, Cynthia. A fairly natural result of the fact that games are becoming more and more realistic. You know, I'm gonna go shotgun here. I've actually got more ammo for the shotgun than anything else. Uh, what floor are we going up to here? Let's see. Uh, is it the top floor? It's the top floor, isn't it? Yeah. I just carry this doorknob with me for the rest of the game now. <laughs> well, that one didn't get me. Looks like Cynthia's been having some fun. <coughs> Stationed. That's where she hung out. That was our favorite Everyone place. A hobby, I guess. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? She was, and this is where the clicker was, remember? Did she know about the dark presence? This is interesting, because we know more than Saga does. I feel like I'm missing some context here. S Salem? I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. No. Isn't that Zane? Aww. Tor's a romantic, huh? What am I here for? A dam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? <laughs> the Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. Yeah, that's what I've been saying recently. I went down to the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Bloom to do it. He's getting slow. It's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep up much longer. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angle on it. Angel. <laughs> he always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here. After all these years, it took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. The shadows are moving. There's no more light. No more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He's such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us. Tom and I forever. Found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom. They called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies. He was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment. Supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it. I do feel bad for Cynthia. She was a lovely woman in the last game. She just tried to help, you know. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Well, Saga doesn't know about Tom either. Tom had enemies. And a fancy old tale. Just his imagination. The nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. She fought for so long. I got a feel for her. Only one more ad to go. Got to be something on the case board, right? Yeah. I miss the days when I used to just roam around. And nothing jumped out at me. <laughs> and I could just explore the wilds. Uh, an entry from Cynthia's journal. Doesn't make sense. There we go. Her fear. This is what I'm saying. She was so scared that those fears became the very vulnerability that took her <sighs> away from. Well, that that let the darkness take her in the end. That's what I said. Oh, of course that's why we're here. It's a in the bathtub. Tub, a pond. A lake. It's There's not a, a lake. Here. It's an ocean. It's not an ocean. It's a pond. It's not a pond. It's a puddle. And so forth. Hmm. 
what are the chances that I don't get jump scared here? <laughs> they seem low. Oh, manuscript. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. These ones are interesting because you still have to go and listen to, to them yourselves, but I guess they're just trying to highlight the important ones, as it were. So, oh, whoa, 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 20, 20. Wait, what's on the left? Casey's favorite brand. Oh. Tastes terrible. Oh. 20. Mm, would you say that means there's a fifth weapon? Potentially. So, did, not, did I not grab the shotgun at all? Did I want any of these? Reload speed is okay. Ready for more is the one I wanted. So that's tempting. What about the rifle? Consecutive hits will significantly reduce the time between shots. A standstill to enter improved focus. Grants perfect accuracy. Pulls shots towards enemy weak spots and deals more damage. Bullets penetrate the enemy's darkness shield. Oh, I like that. Aiming through the scope, Saga could see the flickering darkness that protected the Taken. Saw it waver and jerk. Saw a shifting opening in it. There, she fired, sending the bullet through to find its way home. Because my problem's always been with these like longer range weapons. It never made sense to me because because you have to use your flashlight. Like there's one to to hit them unaware, but the flashlight. Top takes out the shadow, and then they know you're there. <laughs> so, but one that we could like poke heads from a distance with the rifle. That sounds great. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No. Better. She sank into dark water. Into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Interesting the implication that Tom would want any of that. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. The dark water pressed itself into her. I was about to say. <laughs> right, so there's no jump scare immediately, which I think is what people expect. You know, you pick up the records, you get jump scared. And I thought to myself, I guarantee what they've done is they've delayed it by just a couple of seconds to lure you into that false sense of security, then they jump you. <laughs> Okay, I think there's probably something down here trying to eat my face. Hello? <laughs> oh, hey. Whoa. Is it dead? I don't think it's dead. <laughs> the song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb. <laughs> it's chasing me. It's there. <laughs> I'm gonna start using these more often. Big boy wheels. 
Because why not, basically? <laughs> okay. Into the overlap. Gone too soon. So this is the bunker, isn't it? Where that kid died. The local girl, Nora Hesberg, age 15, who went missing on Saturday of last week, was discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. Cause her death has been determined to be drowning. The incident... Blah, 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 blah. The incident occurred during a gathering of local youths at the bunker. Youths. <laughs> I hate when people use that word. Nora was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning. When they discovered their daughter had not returned home the night before, the police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker for one of the victim's acquaintances. People are treating the tragedy as an accident. Community mourns the loss of its young member. And the only reason... Yeah, I mean, you'd have... Um, the family would have scope to sue here, because the only reason this leaked and fell apart was because the... Contractors did a half ass job. If this was Grand Designs, I'd be sh I'd be suing. Let's put it that way. Oh, man, now I want to watch Grand Designs. Logan. This isn't real. Yeah, fuck you, Logan. <laughs> fuck this place. We had the drowned lady. No, stop that. I've dealt with this before. We don't need to do it again. Oh, what is going on here? Game! Stop fucking with me! Going in circles? Yes, Saga, we are going in circles. Now, do I keep going in circles, or do I... Turn around. That is some tricky... Tricky stuff right there. Very impressive. I hate this game. <laughs> Just look at this. Look at where we are. It is gorgeous. I'm so glad that we've got it running at like a decent FPS now. It's a phenomenal looking game. I think it looks even better for me than it does for you folks at home. Because YouTube just butchers everything, compression wise. You know, makes sense. You've got to host five trillion videos. But still, it's a shame. One day I'll get a new fancy PC and upload in 4K, though. That'll be fun. I've never been able to just proper... Like, only once in my life have I ever properly bought, like, a top-of-the-line PC. Um, when the Titan NVIDIA card first came out, like, ten years ago, whatever it was, a bit more. I, uh, got hold of a Titan card. And my PC was just for just for a little while. It was top of the range. But if you don't get headshots for a tank, aren't they? Jesus, that was a lot of bullets. Mm, no I need power. A can't use the switch. Fetch me my switch. Gone too soon. Did any of you at home have, like, a secret location that, you know, the, the youths hung out in, I suppose? Where was the, the, the drinking, gathering, sneaking out kind of spot? You folks at home. For us, there was a, um, rip. I should, I should talk when I'm a little bit more free from- Ah, the beautiful. Just disappeared. The light did that? Oh, interesting. I can turn it off and on. There was a, uh, local- We had, like, a corner shop nearby. It was a Londis at the time. I think it's changed now. And, um... 
So I don't need healing items. I need bullets, man. I've got healing items for goddamn days. I've been throwing them out, for God's sake. Um, there's a corner shop, and opposite the corner shop, there's like an embankment and this farmer's field with this big old billboard on it. And there's a tiny, tiny little hidden path behind the billboard that you couldn't really see very easily. If you didn't know it was there, you weren't going to spot it, basically. So we used to go down there. And there's like, it wasn't a bunker, but well, yeah, it kind of was a bunker. We could never get inside, but there was like a bunker sort of area. We used to hang out there and drink, basically. Was I meant to... Wait, no. I'm confused, because this feels like the wrong way, right? I feel like I was meant to open the door. What the hell? But that's... But that's... What? All right. Okay. It's a loop, like the others. No, oh, yeah, yeah. I need to reach the center. Um. Anyways, that was our spot. And there's also, so I lived like near. It was like suburban, but then there's this big bunch of farms nearby and loads of fields and stuff like that. Cynthia. Oh God. She's here. Of course she bloody is. Um. I'm not getting rused by your loops anymore, kiddo. Um, there's a farm area with a nearby abandoned house that we used to go to all the time. And other things I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm not sure this is right. I, I am trying to distract myself from the situation on the screen. If I just, if I'm a little bit more absent-minded because I'm thinking about my youth, then uh, things are better, right? A dead end. All right, cool. I don't want to zoom in. <laughs> yeah, that's where I used to go. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't remember what I was talking about. Those are the two main spots, and then we had the green. Which was the name for the local park. And uh, we were the Green Crew. <laughs> that was the name of our uh, crew, inverted commas. I was a chav growing up. Yeah, I was a proper little chav. It never really fit. It's just that I happened to make mates. Like, you know, my best mate lived on my street. And he was a chav. And down the road the other way. There's like four or five of us. All these like young lads. And a couple, a couple of the girls nearby like Abby. And we were all chavvy. In shot hoodies and alcohol and... Brap, brap. <laughs> And our crew. The crew which passed on generations. My older cousin. Oh, back here again. And Sam. Sam Taylor, if you're watching this. You're probably not, but Sam Taylor's older brother. They had the green crew. And when they got too old and they kind of moved on to college and stuff like that, we, we took over the green crew, basically. <laughs> In our chavvy ways. And then I found uh, Green Day and Good Charlotte, and I became I keep ending up back here. an emo kid. Why? And my chaff friends didn't want to be chaff friends anymore. <laughs> Basically. Which is understandable. I stopped hanging out with them. I was, I was hanging around with the emo kids, you know? You need power again. Back in a minute, I just saw something. Locked. Oh. The key has to be nearby. Okay. Probably in the. Okay, so we are actually gonna have to to come back. I wonder what's in that. Oh wait, I think I just saw what's in there. Oh baby. Oh, you know what that is. I'm pretty sure that's the bolt cutters. I'm so, I'm sure I glanced. Oh my, can you keep your light up, Saga? I can't see a goddamn thing. Thank you. I swear that was the bolt cutters. I definitely saw something bolt cutter adjacent. I've been waiting all game. <laughs> is, is it finally time? Okay. Oh, 
Well, at least we're getting stocked up. It's really hard to navigate these um, safe rooms sometimes because they're not all shiny and bright, clearly. This one's bloody dark. But when she's in the safe room and she doesn't feel threatened, she keeps her gun by her side and the light by her side, more importantly. Okay, we've got the key. Let me just do this one from here. Yeah. There, there. Shit. Yeah, baby! Oh, finally. Oh, that's been a long time coming. <laughs> right, we've got some exploration to do, tell you that much. I'm not sure how they helped me here, though. I didn't... I wasn't aware there was any... Uh, I'm going to go back the other way now. I wasn't aware there was anywhere around here that required the vault cutters. Why can't I move on from here? We'll probably have to darken this room again, right? I am fully stocked. Aha! Aha! <laughs> Oh, damn it, I really thought I touched that. Okay. Why is she saying Logan? Let's heal up. Nice, Saga, calm down. <laughs> There's no need. Oh, yeah. I've seen you before. I'm right. I am a YouTuber. That is currently my job. Will it be my job forever <laughs> based on how things are going? Probably not. But right now, YouTuber is my job, right? There's a lot of things I would have liked to do in my life, though. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's just wrapping around. It's kind of sad if you think about it. You only get one life, right? Which is inherently quite a sad thing, but most people are only going to have one, like, major career in their life. People definitely, you know, chop and change once or twice, but, you know, if you want to rise to the top of a career especially, you kind of only have one career in your life. And let's say you want to be, like, a police officer, or, I don't know what you would, but maybe you do, or a fireman, or a pilot, or an astronaut, or a YouTuber, or a dentist, or whatever. All these jobs that you consider really exciting. You will never be those things. You know, you never get to experience that. How many people get to experience being like a rock star, for example? I know, it's just weird to think about that. Wait, I'm confused. You only get one life, obviously. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't actually use the bolt cut, it's hurt dope. Um, there's all this stuff that you inherently miss out on. And that's just talking careers. I guess you can do near enough everything else. Can you though? What if you want to be a drunken Lothario for your entire life? And then what if you want like marriage and two kids? And what if you want marriage and like 25 kids? And what if you want to run a cull? And what if you want to like, you always just, you ne nobody gets to experience the breadth of what life has to offer. And I just think that's a little sad. And um, I think that's why you owe it to yourself to experience as much as you can of the life you end up living. Yada yada yada. Pop psychology stuff. Okay, back again. No note this time, though. Ocean view. Back again. Gotta go deeper. Oh, I know. Um. Someone mentioned in the comment section, it's, you know, you guys aren't that far behind. You're, you're behind where I am, don't get me wrong, but you're not that far behind in this series. You're a week or so. Because it's a horror game, and it's intense. It's not one of those games I can just play and play over and over again. You know, I can't sit down and play Alan Wake 2 for like five or six hours in the way that I have over series. I'm on my way, Tor. Can I get you out of here, buddy. Um, so I don't, I don't get as far ahead in series like this. So I can kind of read your comments sort of minute. Look at it. Look at that water effect there. Just look at that. Look at that. Just look, look at that. I think that's so good looking. <laughs> I get really excited about water effects. 
Um, someone mentioned that you should see the subway signs in... Yep, yeah, thought so. In Alan Week 2, in Alum, in Alan's sort of part of the game, and you should. They're really funny, sure. actually. Take him back. I gotta get out of the water. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Oh. so damn dark down here. I'm underwater. She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. She's stalking me in the water. I'm gonna get you out, Tor. Don't you worry, buddy. Don't you worry. Okay, I don't know how relevant this mechanic is right now, if I should be doing this. She's just stalking me. Whoa. Okay, I think I think I just need to keep climbing out, yeah. Let's talk about it. Sometimes if I stay too long in the water, I start to hear her footprints behind me. Hear her movements. Okay. It's okay, Tor. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. I don't think that's the right way. I think we want to go this way. There must be a way to get the power back on. It's like um, Amnesia: The Dark Descent. You know the the first Amnesia game. Oh no, there's nothing to climb on here. Okay, run. I think it's run time. But you can't you can't go in the water. You get oh this way this way. Oh god, thank God for that. I was about to dart into the water. A lunatic. Well, I'm gonna have to now. Well, Saga. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. God, Cynthia. Nightmare. Right, we can climb on that from the other side. Run. She's just trying to break up. Yeah, there she is. She's gotta try to break up your time in the water. I think I can go right over here. It's okay, Saga. It's okay. We got this girl. She's coming. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Is this not the right way? Oh, there. I didn't see that. Oh, and there. Hmm, that is where I need to go, though. I didn't think they'd make it so that, like, they'd put you in a situation where you have to take damage. Like, I don't think I could have got to that ledge without getting caught. So I should have known to look around. It's hard to look around when you've been chased by the drowned woman, though, which is just an inherently terrifying sentence, honestly. Okay, progress. I'm not leaving you here, Tor. Hold on. If you feel like letting go, you reckon I can make it there in time? Probably. Nope. One saga. One saga. Bro. 
I might pop some painkillers. They don't heal you for much anyway. I think I just rather be in full health. Yeah, baby! It's cold. Defeat Cynthia. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. <sighs> Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Where is she? Let me just turn the lights on. Why am I leaving? <laughs> the nice pretty lights. Need med kits. <laughs> Nobody could possibly need this many med kits. It's funny because the game's not easy. Like you take a lot of damage, and um, we've died once or twice. I and mean, we weren't playing on normal. We're not playing on hard either. Where am I going, by the way? But um, it, it, like in combat, difficult. Out of combat, pretty chill. I don't think that meant to be there. Um, because you just have so many healing items. These lights feel relevant somehow. And these little bursts of light that I keep finding. Don't know where Cynthia... Oh, God. Just heard something. Um, where's the thing that... Didn't I climb something here? Oh, let's just go back in. Cynthia, this is the one time, Cynthia, I'm going to actively look for you. You should be taking advantage of the situation. I mean, I'm doing it to kill you, but that's neither here nor there. Ah, I didn't realize you can go down. So I'm single. Sorry. <laughs> It's got to be down here, right? Okay. The brothers were too old to stop it. Oh god! Oh god! Sylvia, go away! You lunatic! Now, 
He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Tor! Uh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, he took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. Sokka keeps saying she has the clicker, but she doesn't have the clicker, does she? It got taken away by the FBC. Am I crazy? The car web of my soul. Hey, Tor. We need to talk. Damn right. Lots for me to explain, but not here. The knight's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? Tor. You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. I mean... Is no this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? Like, no shit, Sherlock, honestly. <laughs> like, <laughs> if your intuition was, like, giving you specific... Like, even think back to, oh, the, the heart is in the fridge, you know, right at the start of the game. There's no way she possibly intuited that. You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. Oh. Oh my god. I will say that I don't mean to slay the game while I'm doing the thing that I'm currently talking about. This, I think, is the one part of the game that's a little weaker. This kind of stuff, and especially stuff on the board. It just... It pulls me out every time, just sitting here listening to things in a way. Not that it's not interesting information, it's just I think it could have been maybe given in a more interesting way. Or just having fewer of them with more information, you know what I mean? You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. 
I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. Yeah. At least towards the end. Aww. We lie to protect. That's usually the wrong thing to do. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save Does she? <laughs> Am I misremembering? Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. I am misremembering because I just re-remembered. It wasn't that um, they took the clicker. They took Alan, didn't they? What the hell happened to my case board? <laughs> it's disappeared. Yeah, that, that's what happened. I, I, I just I just forgot, basically. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Case closed. Lovely jubbly. Except... Tor is here, in the overlap. <laughs> Gotta find him and get the fuck out. I feel like if you... I don't know, you kind of lose the information, but also it doesn't really make sense for her to say something like that in this situation, right? It should. It would make more sense for the ones that are prior ones to maybe auto-populate mm. and just kind of skip the dialogue. Our family's not bound by Wake's story. The Andersons can see through the horror story. Uh, Angus Remorse mentions the man I drove away. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. It's rock and roll, baby. It's London, baby. Wait, you should always check that you don't have the case clock. Okay, no, we don't. Uh, right. This is the problem with this. You can just kind of click like a numpty. And that's the logical one for sure. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. Clicker. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. Area around overlap is always flooded. Overlap's down here, I think. Into the dark place by playing over here. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? We've gone through three overlaps. The first one was the sign. Was that the art? I guess that was the writing, wasn't it? The third one was obviously the music. What was the second one? I don't remember. Oh, the second one was the uh, the float. Thanks for telling me this tour. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, <laughs> your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Aww. I really hope they do bring the rock at some point. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna open this. This is essentially a shortcut. I'll see there's quite a few things I wanna go bolt cut back in town as well. 
Uh. <laughs> just teleported to the, the other FBC side. Is holding wake at the sheriff's station. Yeah, they took wake, they didn't take the clicker. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. However, they have wake and I have the clicker. I suspect we if have I to go work together right, to stop this. This area. Oh, hello. Casey, do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Manuscript saga. Manuscript. When Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. So this is all bloody Rose's fault. So the, I, my first inclination there was that Rose, so Rose in her dreams is being visited by Alan, inverted commas. My first thought was, well, maybe she's being visited by Scratch instead, right? And he's kind of using Rose as a puppet because obviously he looks like Wake. He is Wake. He's going to do anything he says because she's infatuated with Wake. So he's using that to make Rose affect this world to then, you know, improve his position in the dark place and eventually this world as well. But Alan gets the angel lamp in the dark place. Like, like that does happen. He gets it. Assumedly, because it was sent down by Rose. So... What's going on? Are Scratch and Alan more entwined than they think? Is Alan doing things that he thinks... I really don't like that. It's a really cheap graphical effect <laughs> that video games do, just to sell like an atmosphere. It's too noticeable for my liking. Right, well, we have a whole new area. This was previously underwater. Uh, when you go through the overlaps, you always end up discovering new drowned areas, so... There's a cult stash around here somewhere. Come here, cult stash. There you are, little buddy. Another one of those cult boxes. Oh. Do I just need a key? Interesting. Well, there's an arrow. Okay, I guess that's what the arrows are for. I feel like they're leading me in circles. Um, <laughs> they are definitely... Oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Not sure about this one. Um. Ah, lunchbox, though. Always sure about the lunchboxes. Down here somewhere. I'm trying not to leave that. You know, you can see it split into segments. I kind of want to make sure I thoroughly explore each segment as we go. I'm gonna. Uh, probably watch that one in the... I can't hear that at all, personally. <laughs> Usually what I do for the radio segments and for the... TV segments is... Um... Terry. Terry. 
need this bloody lunchbox. This way. Another one of those lunchboxes. Don't pretend to be anyone or anything besides who you are. A lovely message of hope there. Shut up, nerds. Alright, I am gonna nip back to the hoose, I think. And we'll save up the game there. And then next video, we'll go explore this uh, southern part of the map. Hopefully, get that cult stash. Am I still being chased? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am. Donk. Um. Where's the closest save point? Is there one in the house? Is there even one in the house at all? Oh, the gazebo, right? Oh, it's not anymore. It used to be. Game, we need a save point. What was that? Oh. Got main tank. Save point. <laughs> it's gotta be oh, there's one upstairs in the lounge. I think it's upstairs. Wait, why would the lounge be upstairs? Oh, well, it is, so I get over it. <sighs> right, yeah, that makes more sense. And then, just because of the timing, we're at the end of the video. So, next video, we will come back and explore that whole area. Exciting stuff. I feel a little bit more calm, <laughs> like able to play now that bloody Cynthia's gone. Save point! More importantly, shoebox! Because this is unacceptable. Um, I might spend a bit of time organising this. As much as that strikes fear into my heart. I am really low on room here. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're okay for now. <laughs> Okay, right, we'll end it there. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.